Okay guys, so next week, it's my girlfriend Tori's birthday. And she told me that she only wanted one thing for her birthday, and that's a coffin. Well, I guess more like a coffin workbench. She actually liked the workbench that I built so much that she was like, Can you build me one? Okay guys, so this is what I'm thinking. I already pre-drew out the blueprints. I'm just gonna redraw over it so you guys can see it as I'm talking. So basically, I'm gonna make the coffin, cut out all the shapes as seen here, a bunch of fun math. Don't really wanna go too deep into that. And then when I'm done making the coffin, and I'm gonna go ahead and add drawers on the sides and then do like a little opening and closey thing where you can open the table up and then she could put whatever she wants in there. And then, you know, of course, afterwards, just add legs like that. I haven't bought the legs yet, but they're coming, okay? That's that's gonna be the last thing. So yeah, uh, let's get started. Okay, so first things first, let's cut and measure this wood. look like, right? Yeah, that looks pretty similar, I'd say. Yeah, I think I did that right. Now it's time to screw all the pieces together. Whew, okay, we got the walls all screwed together. Now I have to put together the skeleton to make it so that it won't fall apart. <laughs> I actually kind of already started this process a little bit. So I'm basically just gonna put boards to reinforce the inside. Put one right here. I'm gonna put one right here, right here, right here. Ooh, yep. Also, I got a table saw to help me. It was honestly a huge pain in the butt to do it without a table saw, so I'm really glad I got this. the drawers would be perfect for it because uh, we already got the hardware and it looks about the right size. Also, I don't have to make new drawers. Well, I have to modify these a little bit, but uh, yeah, anyway. Drawer number one, drawer number two. <laughs> I'm gonna have to mess with this a little bit. Okay, so after just like hours and hours of trial and error, I freaking did it! We now have working drawers on one side. Wow! This side, drawers are good. Okay, so now on this side, there's not really enough room to do a whole drawer right here. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and make a cubby hole and then I'll kind of modify the drawer a little bit uh, so that the one fits over here. But there's just not enough room right here. So, you know, this is so much work. <laughs> this is day number five working on this coffin. And I really hope that Tori likes it. <laughs> solid a lot, but this this thing's gonna be solid, okay? It's gonna be solid. Mark my words. Also, I kind of look like a main character from Digimon or something with these goggles on. I'm not complaining. I'm just pointing it out. I'm gonna screw this in. Okay, the cubby hole is just about done. Just gotta put the top on and the little uh, flappy guy. <laughs> You'll see what I mean in a second. Okay, so now I have to take the face piece off of this drawer. Oh no! I broke the little handle! Dang it! Well, uh, mission accomplished, I guess. Now I need to cut the hinge. It's a little, uh, messed up, but I'm sure it'll still work. Yeah, and there we go, something like this. Yes. Now it's time to add some magnets to this bad boy. Go right in there, put a little bit of super glue. 
And it stays closed. Thanks, magnets. <laughs> Anyway, the cubby hole is complete. Okay, so now I'm making a custom drawer so that it will fit right here. I'm not gonna lie, it's not the best craftsmanship I've ever had, but uh, you know, I think it might work. At least I'm hoping, because if it doesn't, uh, I'm gonna cry. Okay, so after a lot of trial and error, we have the last drawer. It's all done. Nice. The hardware store didn't sell slides that were short enough, so I had to use a different kind, and uh, that's why it's slightly risen. Okay, now for the head hood thing. Uh, <laughs> this is where I find out that the top no longer fits, right? I think I have to flip it over. It still lines up! Yep, we're looking pretty clean here. Nice! I have to cut this guy right on this line. Oh, I already know this is gonna be kind of hard. Oh, God. How the heck am I gonna do this? I think that might do it. I am so nervous right now. If I mess this up, I have to make this whole thing over again. Well, here we go! That ending part scared me a little bit, uh, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah! Oh. Okay, now we flip this guy over. Line these up. Ooh, pretty sturdy. But will it close? Let's find out. No, it won't. I did it the wrong way. I will fix this and I will be right back to show you. Okay, I fixed it and uh, we are back in business. Okay, so originally I was gonna make it so that this little compartment would be Tori's little place to keep her sewing machine. But I figured it would be really cool if I made it a fold out table. So what I think I'm gonna do is make a cross right here. And when you go to open it, the cross, the middle part, turns into a leg that holds up the table. It's freaking genius, I know. So I guess it's time to make the cross. And... Okay, cross is all assembled. Now it's time to attach it to the coffin. There we go. That's all good. Okay, so the legs came in. Time to install these bad boys. I'm really hoping that this coffin doesn't follow me because that would just be really ironic, right? And about here. One side down, one side to go. Okay, we're all good to go. Carefully remove the saw horses. Yeah, looking pretty good. A little bit shorter than I thought it would be, but it's fine. So when I had sawed the legs, the screws went straight through the top right here. They aren't very like big, but they're big enough for me to need to grind them down. So I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, grind those down really quick. Yeah, that's a lot better. Okay, we are almost done. Now I just have to finish putting on the rest of this crown molding. I did the top right here. Now I gotta do the bottom part. I got this pattern for the bottom. I think Tori's really gonna like it. Okay, so now I'm just filling in the little gaps and uh, any mistakes I might have made. Remember kids, uh, wood putty can fix the mistakes you've made with your projects, but they can't fix the mistakes you've made with your life. Honestly guys, I 
am impressed with myself. Look at that. Just look how look how good that is. I'm really proud of these corners. Look at that. They actually kind of line up. Wow. Okay, so far so good. So the only thing left to do now is pay. Of straight work, it's finally done and it's beautiful. Look at that! And that! Ooh! And this! Two perfect little drawers. Oh, yes! That crown molding, though. Oh, it's so beautiful. Ugh, this is so sick! I bet after Tori sees this, she's gonna want to be buried in it. That's a little bit morbid. Okay, now for the fun part to carry it upstairs. Okay, guys, now it's time to get Tori's reaction. Oh, Tori Dabransky! Tori Dabransky. Okay, Tori. I'm so ready. Let's go. Are right, you ready for you're ready for your present? You ready for your birthday present? I'm ready. I'm hyped. Okay, so I've been working on this every day, as you know, for an entire week straight. It's been an adventure. Dude, I've, I've heard you. My room is right above the garage. So I just hear you singing to yourself most of the time. What? Yeah. <laughs> well, that's embarrassing. Okay. <gasps> wow. Oh my. <laughs> yeah? I have a coffin in my, room, in my room now. This is so cool. Well, do you want me to show me, show me around? Yeah, you want me to show you some of the yeah. future? Yeah. Okay, okay. Open this one. We, broke the, we, we broke the, the handle off. I, I can fix it. Uh, they broke off during transport. Oh, I'll fix it. Wow. That's so cool. That's one drawer. A little oh. cubby hole. <gasps> Oh my goodness, I wasn't expecting that. You put your tiny things in there. I can't put my tiny things in there. Oh, and it just, how does this stick like that? Magnets. Wow, that's so cool. Now we got the full drawers on this side. These open really nice. Oh, they're purple. Yeah, and then you pull it out a little bit more. That's green. Oh. Wow. Dude, you did such a good job. Okay, are you ready for my favorite part? The main feature. This took a little bit of ingenuity, okay? Wow. Okay, you ready? I'm ready. So, see this cross? I like. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Wow. And then it looks like a little bow tie. Mm -hmm. It looks like your shirt. So cool. You got a little place to put your sewing machine. I bet I could fit in here. Okay, Thomas, do you like it? Yeah. How sturdy is it? I wouldn't jump on it. That's fair. It's pretty sturdy. I wouldn't jump on a lot of things. I just got a coffin. I have a coffin. A multi-purpose <laughs> coffin. I could do a coffin tour? Wow. Dude, this is gonna change the game. It's so cute. I did the crown molding. I tried really hard to make it look. It yes. looks nice. I tried to make it look as coffin. Looks... This part was so hard to do. Yeah. This was so much math. So much math. I haven't done this much math since I was in trigonometry, okay? Like this, this so this was so much freaking math. It's like weirdly perfect. I know. Math. math. All this math. All all this this is was this was brought to you by math. <laughs> like it? I'm like, I like. Very cool. Thank you. This is my desk now. It is. I love you. I love you too, thank you. I'm really glad you like it. This is so cool. Look at this, look at like the view. Now I have like all my little things behind me. You emo girl. <laughs> you did good here. You did good here, I didn't do anything. Well, I gotta go. <laughs> Enjoy your coffee, I'll see you later. Woo! I'm really glad that Tori likes it. Tori, where'd you go? Tori Bransky. How do you keep it down? What the heck? I'm taking a nap right now. <laughs> 
Wait, no, no, come back. Tori, we have to do the outro. Oh, okay, guys, thanks so much for watching the video. If you liked it, make sure to give it a little thumbs up. It looks over this part right down there. If you guys like this video, you guys want to watch me try even more fun DIY life hacks and crafts. I have a whole playlist that can me do that right here. If you guys are new, make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you guys want to subscribe to Tori, you can click right here. And if none of that stuff sounds fun, you can always click the mystery card. What is this thing? I don't know. <laughs> okay, guys, love you so much. I'll see you guys again real soon. Peace, love, and Wi-Fi. Oh, we're doing it. Okay, bye. Ow!